Is Marvel looking for the human rocket? Hey guys, before you get started, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little bit of a rumor report on the human rocket himself, Nova. Now, like we said, this is a rumor report, and part of it is sourced over at Daniel RPK's Patreon account. We've got a link to that below. Now, we've heard a long time that Marvel is going to develop a cosmic side of the house. And now, apparently, according to Daniel RPK, they are in active development of a Nova movie to be their next big cosmic franchise. Now, this obviously could take a little bit of time to develop, and we're also still waiting for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 to hit the schedule. But we've already seen the Nova Corps in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and heard mention of the decimation of Xandar in Infinity War. Now, there is some more to this rumor that does make it even more interesting. We've had the ongoing drama between Sony and Disney over Spider-Man. There's really no need to rehash that here, but there is an interesting detail. Director John Watts is not signed to direct the third Spider-Man movie. At least not yet. And one of the other rumors floating around is that Marvel is making a really hard play at pulling Watts onto this project. Marvel has been known to poach talent from other studios before. Back before Ryan Coogler was attached to Black Panther, Warner Brothers was pretty sure he was going to direct the sequel to Creed. And then Marvel swooped in with a dump truck load of money and grabbed him up. And the sequel did not fare anywhere near as well. It seems like John Watts is going to be treated like a free agent. And since Marvel is really wanting to launch this human rocket franchise, he may be their go-to guy. Also consider that Peter Parker and Richard Rider have some similarities. Richard Rider was designed to be the Peter Parker of the 1970s, with some similar and quibby personality traits shared between both characters. One of the expectations of a Nova franchise is that it will gradually build to an annihilation epic with both Galactus and the Silver Surfer. So what do you guys think? Do you think Disney is playing dirty with directors? And would you be interested in seeing a Nova project? I gotta say, I would love to see Nova. The very first number one comic I ever owned was Nova number one, and I've held onto that issue along with a run of about the first 25 issues for over 30 years. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like below, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.